Hey everybody and welcome back to the Bearded Shaver. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a head shave and I just recently received a Parasso Red tin kit from Amazon. Uh, so I'll show you the kit right here. Got this guy right here for about $33 and uh, shipping from Amazon. Uh, it did contain the pre-shave as well as the shaving cream, not the shaving soap, but the shaving cream and aftershave lotion. I will be using all three of those today. Um, so let's get to it, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put some hot water on my head and get the pre-shave and then we'll get rolling. Now, I have probably about two days growth uh, on my head right now. So it's not as long as when I usually shave it. Uh, typically, I shave it after about three to four days. So this should be pretty easy, even though my good old Remington R4 does still tend to mow it down, even though I have it growing for about three or four days. All right, so I got my head wet. Uh, I'm also currently soaking my boar's hair brush uh, from Vanderhagen. Got it right here. And some hot water. But let's go ahead and get the pre-shave going. Now, this is something that I've been wanting to try for a while, this uh, Parasso. I've heard great things about it. And typically, people get the white Parasso. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. There's also the green Parasso. And I have the red Parasso. Uh, the red has a sandalwood scent. Smells very good. The pre-shave is nice and creamy. Uh, I shouldn't need that much. Probably right around there. Put some in my hand and get it applied to my head. Now, typically I use my Enigma Cube from Phoenix Shaving, uh, but since I have this and you know, I just got it, I wanted to try this out. I got that on there. Add a little bit of water, not that much. Dry off my hands here. <coughs> and now we need to get the shaving cream applied. Again, really good shaving cream. Everybody here knows Parasso. That is in the wet shaving community. Um, Italian. And this has uh, cocoa, or sorry, shea butter in it. Not cocoa butter. Shea butter, as well as some other ingredients. Um, it's all in Italian, so I can't really remember what's in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use that much. I'm directly going to apply it to my head. Probably about that much. If I need to add more, I'll go ahead and add more. And then I'm going to do a head lather. All right. Squeeze out a little bit of the water. And let's go ahead and see how this lathers up. I might need some more. Oh, no. That's perfect. That was a perfect amount of water. I'm really looking forward to seeing how slick this is. Because if you've seen my previous videos, you do know that I've used the uh, PAA or the Phoenix Shaving Soap as well as their pre-shave. And that is incredible. And guys, I mean incredible for the slickness. So I'm hoping this does just the same. All right, set this off to the side just in case I need a little more. And as always, if I need a little more water, I just dip my R4 into the sink, uh, let it ring out just for a few seconds, and then put it on my head and it gives me perfect amount of lather. Oh man, that Parasso smells amazing. I love sandalwood, anything musky. Uh, one thing that I do not like is I don't like menthol. Um, a lot of the wet shavers out there love menthol. I cannot stand it. 
even though Parasso does have a little bit of menthol in it, it's not overpowering. So perfect for me. All right, let's get going. Remember everybody, tiny circles. Oh man, that's incredibly slick. But of course, it's Parasso, and Parasso's been around for a long, long time. They pretty much have their formula dialed in at this point. All right, clean it out. Get a little bit of water on there, and then watch the lather reappear. Awesome. This is doing awesome, guys. And if I put a little more water on this side that I just shaved, uh, I will probably have some residual slickness there. We're going to find out in a second. All right, guys, and I just want to give you an update. I'm going to be trying to do two videos a week. Um, I currently accepted a full-time position at my work. So, like I said, I'm going to try to get out two videos. It may just be one, and I might do a face shave as well as a head shave. And then call it a week. But we'll see how I'm feeling. I'm going to try to get two videos out if I can. Right, I'm going to fill around to see if I got any residual slickness here. I kind of... Alright, if I had a little water, yeah, I got a little residual slickness. Still... Uh, not to be a big fanboy of uh, Phoenix Shaving, but they have residual slickness, and I just love their products. Uh, I will be getting more here soon, and you guys will be seeing that for me. All right, let's get to the back of the head here. All right, guys, I need to just reapply a little bit of the lather on the back. Uh, it did dry up a little bit. And I'm going to grab my trusty mirror, turn around, and get going on the back again. And if I need to apply more shaving cream, I will. All right, get on over here to the other side. All right. So now I'm going to test the residual slickness. I'm going to put a little water on my head and see what I got left. All right, well, slickness is still there. 
Uh, not bad. Again, I still prefer my uh, Phoenix Shaving, the Enigma Cube, and the shaving cream from them. I'm going to put a little bit more shaving cream on my head. And yes, I know this looks a little funny, but that's how I head lather. And I'm definitely going to need this. Um, since there wasn't as much slickness as what Phoenix Shaving gives me on their products, I need to go back a few areas just to get it nice and smooth like I usually do. So, again, not a knock to Parasso. Parasso, Parasso, however you guys say it. Not a knock to the, that company. But I just feel, at least at this moment... You know, not to beat a, you know, a repeating record here, but I still prefer Phoenix Shaving and their products. But I will be trying more. I did buy uh, some Cremo Shaving Cream. Um, again, not shaving soap, shaving cream, and I will be giving a review on that soon. Uh, I did shave with it, uh, did a face shave a few days ago, and it came out great. Again, got the non-mentholated version. And that left a nice slickness to it. I did try to lather it in my uh, Old Spice Bowl, my vintage Old Spice Bowl. But it was, I guess I had a little too much water. It didn't lather that well. So I just did a face lather instead. I got to practice my bowl lathering. And what really is going to be a test for me is how smooth it can get my sides here as well as the back right around here without getting that much irritation. If I get a lot of irritation, then the brand or the product that I'm using doesn't have enough slickness that I would like or prefer. All right, that's looking pretty nice. Could still feel some hair being cut around here, and it's still not as smooth as I would like it to be. There we go. That's it right there. Now, I just want to tell you guys what's a little funny for me is I watch shaving videos on YouTube and my wife likes to say it is my porn. And uh, sorry if your kids are watching and you have to explain to them what that is, but it is. Uh, I love watching the videos and it is kind of like my porn to me. All right, I'm going to get the back one more time. Get a little lather. From my neck. All right. And guys, I do have another shout out today. I'll get to it here in just a minute.
All right, I'm set that off to the side. Just fill around here a little bit. There we go. Typically, my problem areas are right here on the sides. I kind of have to go against the grain the second pass just to make sure it's nice and smooth. And back here, right there, and right over here, if you guys can see that. Uh, those I always have to go over a few times just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Might be a little overkill, but I hate it when the rest of my head is smooth and then maybe one or two areas are not. I don't know about you guys, but uh, how do you feel about that? Would you go over the area a few more times than what you do the other areas just to get it about the same? I know I do. Maybe that's my OCD, but... All right, just get around my ears here. Remember, let this right around your ear, just like that. Now, for a while there, after I was done shaving my head, I would get my uh, beard clippers and kind of trim this section of my sideburns down, uh, just because I didn't want a harsh line here. As my beard is getting a little longer, I'm kind of not really caring about that at this point. Uh, so just for reference, my beard is roughly about three months uh, of growth. Um, my beard does grow on average <coughs> about uh, half an inch every month and a half or so. So, you guys know I have a pretty thick, coarse beard. Uh, some parts I do have, like right around here, are a little more straight than other parts, like right around here. But is it extremely, it is very dense. Uh, not as dense as some people's beards, because some people have some really dense beards. And... I can be kind of envious of those people sometimes, but then I'm just really appreciative of what I do have because my uh, son, who is 16, is starting to get facial hair and it's starting to be uh, a little thicker, turning a little darker. He's getting his sideburns right around here, some of the mustache, a little bit on his chin, like a patch here and then right here on his Adam's apple he has like hairs like that long Shh, don't tell him I told you this and recently we got him one of these guys uh, to take all of that down because it was kind of looking grody there a little nasty and he needed to shave and at this point we really don't trust him with the blades for a double edge safety razor uh, it's partly my fault because I haven't taught him how to properly use a double-edged safety razor. But in the future, I will teach him how to do that. And he will use a double-edged safety razor, at least I hope. If he does it, that's completely fine. It doesn't really bother me. I just like teaching him how to do stuff. All right, so I got that down. Let out the water from my sink. I'm going to give my head a uh, hot water rinse. All right, there's still an area or two here that I'm going to have to touch up just a little bit. Uh, not that bad. My problem areas are still pretty good. But let's go ahead and let's throw on some of the aftershave. All right, let's give this a whiff. Oh, that smells pretty good. Let's see how it smells when I dump it in my hand. Oh, 
Oh, man, you can smell that alcohol. Woo! All right. Let it dry for a few seconds. And then you apply. All right. All right, so an overview. I was using the uh, Parasso Red. Uh, I will be trying the Parasso Green, Parasso White uh, later on. I just want to see the difference between all of them. Parasso Red is made for coarse beards. Uh, so I will be trying that on my facial hair soon. For my head, it did a pretty good job. Um, again, not as good as the slickness as uh, Phoenix Shaving has given me with their Future Fiction and the Pre-Shave Enigma Cube. But not bad overall. So in the next few days, I'll get out a video of me doing a face shave with the Parasso Red as well. And then I'll try the Cremo. Cremo. Eh, sorry, guys. Uh, I had to do it. Anyway, thank you for joining me and thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.